some of you have requested a wing video for quite some time now and I'm doing one today. Uh, before I get started, I have some shout outs. Um, Cole Islip, Ryan7217, Christopher Cologne, ASMR, and Tyler Rose. Now this one here, uh, HPL ROM1001. It's spelled H-P-L-R-O-M-1001. So that's your shout out. Not, not how to pronounce, not sure how to pronounce that, but that's your shout out, my friend. And Marlon Jones, I gave you a shout out on my last video, the Canada Day video. But you said if I do a wing video, you wanted a shout out. So there's your shout out, Marlon. And a big shout out to the rest of you people as well, to all my other viewers. And a big shout out to uh, the United States, uh, July 4th, happy July 4th. Uh, I wish you all the best to your great country. So anyways, uh, always happy to have the United States as a neighbor. Couldn't ask for a better neighbor. So anyways, uh, I'm going to do some wings. I've got some lovely barbecued wings. I'm going to talk about videotape. Oh, that's good. Got a beer. So I did a video quite a few months ago. When I was a kid playing in a band, I was talking about TV and all that and videotape. And, you know, I knew that on the news, a lot of the segments were filmed. And then at some point, they started using videotape. Can't remember when exactly. But I, I became aware of videotape as a, a medium that was used more and more often. And, of course, back then, it was all black and white. in high school they had a small little TV studio they had like a, a single camera fairly big camera on a stand not the kind that you'd see in a big studio that they wheeled around on trolleys and that sort of thing but just a, a big camera on a tripod and they had a, a real to real videotape machine as well that was black and white and this was used by the, the drama club the debating club they 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 videotaped graduation and it was also for people learning about the media and that sort of thing so that's what they use that for and that always intrigued me that's hot temperature hot and it fascinated me because tape recorders always fascinated me like audio tape recorders so uh, you know a video tape recorder is even more amazing so I remember I became quite fascinated with uh, with videotape. So I remember they had a reel-to-reel -reel machine. I guess it was probably half-inch tape. I'm not sure. So after I got out of school. in either VHS or uh, Beta. Like the red tag would be VHS, the green tag would be uh, Beta or whatever. So this was the late 70s. When I first saw my first home VCR, and I can't remember if the guy rented it. I think he probably rented it. I don't think he owned it. Hey, 
must have rented it and he was showing some movies and this kind of thing and this became more and more popular I remember by the early 80s like around 1980 81 people were doing that all the time renting machines you know and you go down to the electronic store and rent a machine and you could rent some movies and all that and it became more and more popular all the time and this thing with the um, the beta and VHS continued now I understood that beta was supposed to have better quality I always understood that and it was a little bit smaller of a cartridge from what I understand I'm, I'm no expert on this but also uh, you could only record up to I think one or two hours on it and that wasn't very practical for a lot of people opposed to VHS where you could record you know on slower speed up to like six hours I think so for most people that was more appealing as for picture quality well when you're watching a movie on a back in those days you know like a 24 26 inch tube television you know you probably couldn't tell the difference anyways between the quality so the uh, VHS kind of won over it this VCR 
So, my friend Tony, my coworker, I was at his place one time. Oh yeah, and, and he owned a VCR too. And we were watching a movie called Enemy Mine with Louis Gossett Jr. And he had it hooked up to a stereo. And he had the subwoofer. I remember just how good that sounded. It was just like a movie theater. I thought, wow, this sounds great. So I said to my ex, when we buy a VCR, we have to hook it up to our stereo system. And we did, and it sounded really good. But I noticed right away that it was mono. And I said to my ex, I said, you know, this sounds great, but it's mono. And she goes, well, so what, you know? Because a lot of movies, you know, they have the, 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 the stereo at the very least. I mean, eventually I'd get the 5-1 thing and all that, but the home theater stuff and whatever. But uh, at that time, I just want some stereo, like, separation. I had my big HM. Uh, 100 Pioneer speakers, and I had, you know, lots of nice speakers and stuff, so, um, I remember, ooh, I, I talked to my, my ex about it, she said, okay, well, let's, let's take it back and trade it for a better, for a stereo one, so we went back to the store, and they had the exact same machine, a Sanyo, but in a stereo version. something to look forward to in our every Friday night. I gave the kids something to look forward to. They come with me. They'd be so excited about going to pick a movie. And of course, when a popular movie came out, you'd have to rent or uh, reserve it. You know, so you'd reserve a movie and it would be so exciting to get a, a certain movie that you wanted to see. You know, so we'd, we'd do that. And it, I mean, it, it sounded so good. And my, my ex was so happy that we had the stereo uh, thing going on and all that. Now this Sanyo machine was a really good machine. It was well built. I mean, it wasn't just some flimsy piece of crap. It was a really well built machine. And I had that for years and years and years. So eventually we wanted to get a second VCR uh, for making copies and transferring. I'll get to that in a minute. So we, uh, we had an old computer and we uh, put an ad in the, the local buy some trade newspaper that we would trade our computer for a, a stereo, a used stereo VCR. So we found one. This man came over. He liked our, our computer. We liked this VCR made a trade right across the table. like crazy, you know, 
everybody wanted to get things on video. So I was at work one day and my, our, our first child was uh, one year old. He was one years old in 86. And my ex said, you know, um, we should rent a video camera, get some videotapes of when he's little. And I said, that's a great idea. So I was at work and I came back and she rented this, um, this whole uh, videotape thing. She had the, um, it was three different things. It was the great big camera that you rest on your shoulder, kind of like Channel 7 News, you know, great big thing. Then there was a satchel you, you hung off this shoulder that had the recorder in there, you know, about the size of a VCR. Then you had another satchel with a big battery. So the camera was plugged into the the, uh, the recorder and into the battery. So you had this big camera and you had these two things hanging off. So you, so you would trudge along like this. We actually got a lot of tape, a lot of video. The color was terrible. Everything had kind of a green tint to it. sound was amazing. That's one thing about video cameras. Those condenser microphones are so good. They, they would record the sound beautifully, very accurately as well. So we, um, these wings are so good. of our, our little boy and some of the neighbors and it's funny when you have a video camera people act so differently you know a lot of times people go oh, I don't want my picture taken but secretly I think they do and we got lots of footage but there was nothing to play it on now my neighbor had a VCR so we took over his house and we played it and uh, that sort of thing. Because like I said, this was before we bought our first VCR. So we had this tape um, with, you know, like I said, our little boy on there and, and different things, my, my parents and whatever. But nothing to watch it, watch it on. So that was one of the reasons we had to have a VCR. And it would be a full two years before we would buy one. about a year and a half later my dad's birthday was on it, it used to be on Halloween he was born October 31st 1922 and 87 he was going to be 65 so we wanted to rent a video camera to record that once again I'm at work That's 7-Eleven. And she said they have these small little video cameras. And you can rent it. And she said, all you have is just, all you need is just the camera. Everything's all, all in one. I said, oh, come on. She said, oh, no, you don't need that big satchel with the battery or the big satchel with the recorder. It's all in one. It's really small. And I said, well, does it have sound? She said, oh, yeah, it has sound. It has everything. The tape goes right inside. 
I said, how can the tape fit inside? And she said, well, it's a smaller tape. It's called uh, VHS Compact C. I think the C for Compact, so it's like a compact version of a, a VHS tape. And she said that the guy said it works really good. And it works great. Small and light, you just you know, put the strap over your, your hand and you just, you know. It worked really good. I was very impressed with it. The video was uh, very accurate, you know. It wasn't all green, you know, it was um, very nice. Sound was good. We uh, not only recorded my dad's 65th birthday, but we recorded, um, um, you know, the kids and all that. Or, or the kid. We still only had one kid. And we recorded a whole bunch of, uh, you know, different things. Some Halloween stuff. Because we had the camera for 24 hours. So we recorded the neighbors. We were doing some Halloween stuff, you know, trick or treat. Fireworks and in that 24 hours, I record a lot of stuff. So, remember, after dad's birthday, the, the next day, all our relatives and friends came to our house and we watched this on TV, and I was just amazed. You know, they couldn't believe it had sound and it, you know, it was so realistic, and it was just fantastic. And I thought, I just, you know, the future has arrived, I just couldn't believe this thing. So, I thought someday I gotta get something like that. So, anyways, that takes us back up to um, 1988 when I had my, uh, my first VHS, uh, VCR. And um, later that year, we would buy our first video camera. So we bought our first video camera. It was a uh, Sanyo Super 8. Now the tape on this one was even smaller. It wasn't a VHS tape. It was Super 8. It was even a, a smaller little cassette, and it fit right in. Now this camera was um, Super 8 uh, Sanyo, uh, Super 8 Vision, or I can't remember what it was, but it was really nice. It was a very nice camera. Um, I no longer have the camera. I have, I have a picture of it I can show you, but I no longer have the camera itself. I had that camera for years, and eventually it, it started to wear out. And I wish I had kept it, you know, I ended up throwing it out. My youngest boy always gives me a hard time, says, Dad, why'd you throw that out? believe 
this, but we paid about $2,500 for that thing. Crazy, huh? The amount of memories I, I recorded, it was so worth it. I mean, nowadays you whip out your your phone and you can take, you know, I mean, a video of that's equivalent to, a, it's like cinematic quality, you know. The video I took was all very grainy. I mean, it was pretty sharp for back then, but see what I'd have to do is the original little a Super 8 tape that went inside the camera. If I just played that back on the TV, it looked really sharp. But I would have to transfer it onto one of these, onto a VHS. And I would always use the fastest speed for the best quality. But then, of course, you lose a generation. It's not like now everything's digital, it doesn't matter. Back then, you lose a generation. So it got a little bit more grainier. The floss became a little more enhanced. But it was still good. And um, around 2012, I undertook a little project. You know, I accumulated hundreds of hours of home uh, videotape, you know, home movies. And what I did was I wanted to transfer them onto a disc. So I found this, uh, I went to, I think it was Best Buy, and I, I wanted to buy a, a, a machine where you put the, the videotape on one side and the, and the disc on the, in the other, and you just record. And the guy says, well, those don't really work all that great. He said, but I have a better way. He said, let me show you. And he said, it's called Honestech. That's this thing right here. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'm sure you don't want to hear all that noise. Anyways, what you do is you plug your, your VHS recorder into this. And then that plugs into your works excellent. There's a beginner's program in advanced, and I just used the beginners because I just wanted to transfer everything to the advanced. I mean, when I look at advanced now, it's it doesn't appear advanced at all compared to the editing skills that I've that I have learned over the last few months. Not that I'm an expert, but when I first saw the advanced section, I thought, wow, that looks that was, it was intimidating, but now it's nothing. But the advanced just gives some options of titles and stuff like that maybe a few effects or whatever. So I just transferred everything onto, um, onto video discs. Onto these right here, onto a disc. You know, I just put everything onto a disc. So everything went onto a disc, so I got each tape onto a disc all by itself. I got, you know, Christmas and birthday, I mean, you name it, you know, like all our camping trips, I used to record camping trips. For years and years and years, I always took the kids camping by myself. And my ex never came along, she would eventually, but I remember my youngest boy saying, are you coming on the camping trip, mom? And I remember my ex saying, no, it's, it's okay. Uh, I, I, I can't go after work. And he said, well, you're going to miss all the fun. And I think she said something like, well, it's okay. I'll see you when it comes out on video. Meaning because I videotaped everything, she would see everything. And she would always watch the videos. Eventually, she started coming with us. buy the VHS tape that I can transfer it on, that's all you have to do. 
could always try to get something really good too. My second child was born in April of 88, and we just had the camera a short time. And um, my ex, we, we, like, we, back then we never wanted to know the, the gender of our baby until the baby was born. And my ex wanted me to videotape the child being born. So we asked the doctor uh, if that'd be okay. He said, yeah, I said, I'll, I'll make sure I comb my hair, and <laughs> he, he was a nice guy. So we um, went to the delivery room and filmed uh, my son being born. Of course, we didn't know it was my son until he was born, but it was actually very cool. Now, of course, we have two sections to that day. We actually have the, the, the section where, you know, my, my wife, my ex-wife is actually giving birth. Then I have a separate tape where... You know, like literally a, a minute after he's born, I, 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 I start there. So you don't see any of the, the naughty bits, right? And so my son and everyone else, you know, were able to watch all that. And, um, you know, a lot of my uh, my ex or girlfriend saw that was just amazing, you know, and whatever. A lot of people thought it was kind of weird, but anyways, um, well, that's what we did. Um, she was kind of hoping it'd be a girl. And then when the uh, the girl was old enough to have a child of her own, you know, she could watch herself being born. But as it turned out, our girl would be the third child being born. And we only videotaped the one. sees the videotape she remembers the same with my dad he died in 2004 and the kids I remember the kids had such squeaky little voices for my oldest boy when he was about 11 or 12 his voice was changing a bit you know it was kind of he was at that sort of awkward age as they say and I remember the old telephone hearing the old telephone ring you know, it sounds like you just sort of take for granted. Like we used to have this cockatiel named Sunny. Excuse me. And you could hear her in the background squawking and singing away. And you forget a lot of that stuff. So it's not just the visual. It's 
to the sounds as well. for I think a dollar or something and um, I think I could get a battery for it I haven't found a battery for it but I think it uses a small disc some spring and summer so far you know last year halfway through july it was still kind of cold and wet and rainy it was awful this year is complete opposite we went down to victoria a couple of days ago and they had a uh, an exhibit at the museum on anchor watt <clears throat> and linda and i we went to anchor watt in cambodia in 2019 so that was very interesting videotape was just such a, a medium back then you know you never see video stores anymore I remember they were everywhere for about 20 years or so people made a lot they made fortunes possibly lost them too but a lot of people made a lot of money we had one guy he was the last holdout in town he was the only one I think on the island for all I know he was the last one and he finally packed it up Netflix or whatever 
know, there's lots of them, you'll know, crave whatever, but or you download something or live stream or whatever, you know. very exciting. I still have all my original videotapes on VHS, plus all the discs that I transferred them to. serve somehow because they've always meant so much to me you know I mean I can go back and just see so much history of my family you know yeah a lot of fun there it is uh, last 
last drop of beer, 14 wings. That was my videotape. Video. Except I didn't record on videotape. Maybe I should have. That would have been interesting. But you take care, my friends. Uh, I hope you're looking after yourselves and each other. Thank you for tuning in. I love your comments. I may not respond to them right away. I try to respond to every comment I can. It may take me a couple of days, you know. Because, you know, sometimes I'm going to the other day on Monday. I was out of town. Linda and I were out of town. Went to the museum there. We were gone all day. Went for a beautiful meal at our favorite Italian restaurant later. Oh, it was so good. I walked out of there just stuffed. And then we stopped at Roger's Chocolates. Grab ourselves a little chocolate thing, you know, like the little coconut ones with chocolate. Oh, so good. And I, I, I had that when I got home because I was so stuffed. I, I couldn't eat until I got home. So, you know, like I said, sometimes I'm just kind of busy, you know, I'm doing other things, you know. And um, so I may not answer your comments right away. And if for some reason I don't answer them, keep in mind I read them all. I read every single comment I get. Okay, so you take care, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. I love you all. Uh, once again, happy 4th of July to you amazing uh, people in the United States. And a big shout out to all of you people, okay. So take care. Look after yourselves and each other. Bye for now.